Tutorial Video 5, Video Collaboration in Vision Node. Hello, this is Video 5 of Omron's Collaborative Robot Tutorial Series. In this video, we will show you how to start using the built-in camera in the integrated vision system for your applications. One of the biggest advantages of this cobot is that you can rapidly create an application in which you want the cobot to see and recognize the object that it's working on. You do not need additional lens nor lights, so let's get started. 1. Built-in Camera this is the built-in camera module. It is called the eye and hand camera. To quickly see what the camera sees, start a new project. Open the sidebar icon on the top right, then click View. A new window pops up that shows you what the camera can see. 2. Vision Calibration Let's start doing a vision calibration. The good news is, with this cobot, pretty much all of the complicated calibration process can be done automatically, using this calibration plate called a dice board. First, place the dice board on the workspace where you will be performing the task. Move the cobot to an initial position and confirm that the dice board is detectable by looking at the view window. Make sure that the cobot end module can move freely 10 centimeters in all directions without hitting any object. Create a vision node by either dragging it from the left column or by clicking on the Vision button on the end module. Click the Edit icon on the Vision node. Click the Vision Job button. Then click the plus icon. Type in the job name. Click OK. Then click the icon that says Calibration. Choose Automatic, then click Next. When prompted, press the Play Pause button on the robot stick. The robot will automatically start to move to first complete the tilt correction. Follow the on-screen instructions until the calibration process is complete. You can save it as a workspace by giving it a name. Saved workspaces are accessible to any project you might do in the future. Now that the camera has been calibrated, it is ready for a vision task. 3. Vision Node and Task Designer Vision tasks reside in vision nodes. The one you created to do the calibration can now house a vision task. Click on Task Designer to see that there are six types of vision tasks that you can choose from. The most basic function is AOI, or Automated Optical Inspection. Let's explore some of its features as they are shared with many of the other vision tasks. On the left side, you will see two boxes. One is Initiate, and the other one is Bias and Pixel. Right-click on either one and you can edit or delete it. Let's edit Initiate. You can adjust the camera settings by clicking Adjust Parameters. You can click on any Auto Once button or adjust manually. Click Update to save your new settings, or click the back arrow to go back without saving. You can turn on the light on the camera module by clicking Lighting. Let's get out of Initiate by clicking the left arrow. On the top, there are three buttons, Enhance, Find, and Identify. Click Enhance. These tools can adjust the camera's image contrast, extract colors from it, smooth it out, make it grayscale, use morphology, and flip the image. Let's go back and click Find. Here you'll find pattern matching tools, a blob finder, anchor, and ways to make fiducial markings. And finally, Identify allows you to read a barcode and teach the cobot how to decipher colors. All of these tools are very useful, and most of them are very intuitive to use. We won't color all of them in this video, but please feel free to explore and play around with them. This is very important. Please remember to click the Save button before you leave the vision job. So that was AOI. The other vision tasks have similar settings but they have the added bonus of creating their own vision base. Here is one example, visual servoing or vision-based robot control. It uses feedback information collected from the camera to control the motion of a robot. Once you set it to an object, it will follow as you move the object around. Another example, vision IO can turn the camera into an IO sensor which constantly monitors any changes in the field of vision. The task designer will make it easy for you to create vision applications that, with other robots, could be a complicated process. 
This concludes video 5 of the Omron TM series tutorials. In the next video, video 6, we'll show you how to do motion using vision.